Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten done looting all of the tombs minus Naga Sadows because we're not allowed to go in there. And now we have to move on to other things. Other very important things to get the particular ending on Corban that I would prefer. Namely, one that works out better for everyone. So... Ah, what is this you bring me, Shardan? It is none other than the sword of Ajunta Paul, Master. Fool. All the trouble you went through for your deception, and you did not even make an effort to verify the sword's authenticity. Master, but what... What do you mean? There is no place for fools amongst the Sith. Be gone. Ah. Well, I mean... I didn't think that would lead to his death, but, um, he kind of had it coming, I guess. Yeah, okay. Anyway, since that's done, um, thing I need to do real quick is actually run out of here. My mouth made a weird noise. Um, <laughs> I gotta run out of here. And switch up some party members a little bit. Namely, switch in one particular one. Going into Dresh Day so I can do it. And we swap out Jihani for right now and bring in Mission. Oh, and she has a lot of level ups to deal with, huh? <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, uh, considering Karth is at 16, she probably has at least three levels sitting there. So, uh, computer use, demolitions, awareness, and security. Okay, good. Feats. Um, let's do improved dueling. That's good. Skills. We up. Treat injury, security, awareness, and demolitions. There we go good she learned sneak attack eight that's good and now we're at 16 and we up her to 12 on wisdom sure she's getting older she's getting wiser that makes sense sure why not demolitions awareness security there we go all right now there's a reason we did that the reason is is because there is a room that I require security to get into. No one in my party makeup prior had security. Mission has a lot of security as we just contributed to it. So, um, I'm also going to make sure I get a good blaster on her. Um... Anything best, be better than the Tie Steel Mark III? As plus two to physical attack modifier, plus two. Okay, let's see. What do I got that could be better than that? That's also a blaster. Um. The Mandalorian Heavy Pistol is pretty good. And has a plus three modifier instead of a plus two. Okay. That's that's an option. Um, this one's blaster pistol, but that's ion. Don't need that. Okay, so I guess we go with the uh, Mandalorian heavy pistol. Because that is better than the one I had her equipped with there. Has more range, more damage. At least I think it has more range. No, the range is the same. But the damage range is higher. The physical damage is the same. And the attack modifier is higher by one. So it's all good. It's all good. Works a lot better. 
And she also has the interface visor equipped anyway, so that's good. Um, hmm. Is there better armor I can put on her? Better than this Jenny Fiber armor? I don't think so. Honestly, don't think so. So we'll have to call that good. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, we go back into the academy now. And we go directly... back here to go this way okay why was i locked there weird invisible wall shenanigans thank you game i guess well, let's talk to the show here i remember you from the colony uh-huh you seem all right though you'll not win the right to train before me oh yeah you're trying to become a Sith as well. Just figure that out, did you? Yeah, a little. It just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. Oh, yeah? What way is that? I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. Why haven't you brought it to him yet? I don't have it just yet. Oh. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. It's... Where is it? <laughs> Like I would tell you. Why don't I just let you rob me while you're at it? It's guarded, isn't it? So what if it is? I'll get it eventually. Mm -hmm. Regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. That's the Sith motto, more or less. Not exactly, but sure. Maybe I could help you get it? Help me get it? I don't know. Hm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Uh, <laughs> because I've always wanted to work with a beautiful woman. Uh, because you want to work with me? That, mm, maybe. Eh. I've always wanted to work with a beautiful woman. Flattery, is it? Yeah. I suppose <laughs> it's possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. Mm. We'd be ahead of the others, for sure. Interesting. Unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. Mm -hmm. You can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense uh, to you? okay. Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll be amongst the central pillars near the north end. North end. Why do you think the Holocron is so important? Because it probably contains secrets from the time when the Sith ruins on this planet first existed. You don't think that Master Uthar would find that impressive? Yeah, no, you, you got a point. You got a point. I'll see you there. Remember, the central pillar's in the valley. I'll be waiting, so don't take too long. All right, fair enough. Well, that conversation's done, and then the other guy's long gone. He has left the academy, as far as I'm aware. And then there's these ones where Dustal is right there. Yep. So we'll deal with that later. First things first, though, there was another conversation I have not yet had with Yathura. Hey, Yathura, so how's it going? you managed to kill Shardon, did you? Not intentionally. Good news travels quickly. Well done. I wouldn't call that you good. You wouldn't have made a good Sith anyway. One less opponent is an excellent result, regardless of how it occurs, correct? I guess. Now then, something you needed. Uh, you mentioned you were from Slaheron. I did. I also said that you didn't need to know more. Why are you asking? I would just like to know more about you, that's all. I see. Very well. I suppose there's no harm in the tale. As I Thank said, Thank you. I was originally a slave to one of the huts. The huts control everything on Slaheron. Mm -hmm. And a slave is nothing to them. Mm, I was kinda, determined yeah. not to be nothing. One night when the drunken worm had me alone in his chambers, I stabbed him and escaped the compound. Dang. I stole onto a cargo ship and was not discovered by the crew until they reached the next system. They left me for dead on a desolate planetoid, alone. But that was fine by me. I was glad to be anywhere other than Slayeron. It was not luck gotcha. that I was eventually rescued, of course. The Force was strong with me, though I didn't know that at the time. Not until the Jedi told me, that is. The Jedi found you? What happened? I'd rather not discuss it. Perhaps another time. 
Is there something else you needed? Um, nothing else in particular. I guess. Okay, I I'll be going. You again. Okay. Good to hear. Huh. Well, let's do the thing that we needed. We needed mission for, what? which was Uthar Wind's room. Yes, it is. Very simple. Are we going to eventually open this or what? Mission. There we go. Data pad, frag grenade, and hyper battle stimulant. There's the bed. And then another foot locker. We're going to actually open it at some point. Okay. Doesn't. That what? data pad, just take a look at it. I wonder if Dustal knows his friend was disposed of like that. If not, it might convince Dustal that what we're saying about the Sith is true. It'd be worth a shot. True, but didn't expect him to jump in like that. Also, dang it, mission, you're in the way. Okay. Now it'll open for me for some reason. Jedi Master Rub? Uthar used to be a Jedi Master? Interesting. Okay. So, that data pad apparently had something on it. Numerous entries of notes made by Master Uthar of the Sith Academy. Most prominent of the recent entries is the following. The pupil known as Dustal has shown remarkable progress. His talent with the Force is great. The same, however, cannot be said for the human female that he arrived with, Selene. She has little talent. Moreover, Dustal holds a great degree of affection for her. This is a weakness in the boy and has been slowing down his training. Orders were sent this morning to have the girl removed from the academy and terminated. I will tell Dustal that she was killed in the valley. He will forget her soon enough, I think. He is too promising to lose at this juncture. Jesus. Ratio. Christ. Okay. Yeah, that, if that doesn't convince... That doesn't convince Dustal. I don't know what will. All right. Well, with that done, let's go talk to Uthara again. I understand you have impressed Master Uthar at least a little. That is mm -hmm. good. We yeah. are one step closer toward completing my plan. Were I you, I would not get too excited just yet. You still have plenty left to do. That's fair. It's more than fair. How did you become a Sith? I would prefer not to discuss that. I'd really like to hear the tale. Why? There is no point. Have I asked you about your past? Um, I just thought we could become friends. Or maybe something more. I see. You certainly have odd notions for one hoping to become a Sith. Well, I'll you play know. along. For okay. Now, let's see. I appreciate it. After escaping from Slayron, I was found by the Jedi. They took me in and trained me, even though I was a bit older than most Padawan. Mm -hmm. That's fair. You were a Jedi? Not really, no. I never progressed beyond Padawan. That this still counts. I had discipline, but no peace. Ah. And after my treatment at the hands of the Huts, there was little room in me for the ways of the Jedi. That's I fair. wanted to use the Force to free the other slaves I knew, to fight for what I knew was right. More than the fair. The Jedi restrained me until I couldn't stand it anymore. They mm -hmm. claim the dark side is evil. But that isn't so. Sometimes anger and hatred are so deserved and right. Sometimes things change because of it. Mm-hmm. But has anything changed? No, not yet. But my anger has not diminished, nor my desire to see change. Mm -hmm. The more time I spend with the Sith, the more I am certain that one day I will be able to fight as I must. I know okay. this may sound strange. But only my compassion stands in my way now. Once that is gone, let the slavers beware. But if you lose your compassion, will you still care about those slaves? I... yes, of course. I, I mean losing my compassion, as in holding back. But enough of that. Mm -hmm. I have talked about myself too much. Surely you are tired of it. I don't know about that one. I guess I'll be going. Come back soon, my friend. Will do. 
absolutely will do. All right. Now that that's done, we go to where Lashao was sitting in the... Well, in the Valley of the Dark Lords. We'll just have to move a little quicker because it's basically retreading old ground. Honestly, I didn't think that uh, it would bring me right back out, but here we are. So, time to go back. And I mean all the way back into the Valley of the Dark Lords. Go all the way back to... Well, I mean, I don't have to go into any tombs, so I guess it's not all the way back, but... It's still in the far, far back area of the uh, valley, so... It's still a ways back. Okay, onward we go. And it'd be... Past the pillars. Did she say in the middle of the pillars? I don't know. I don't think... No, those aren't her. Is that her? So I don't remember someone being there. That is her, okay. There you are, finally. If you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. I've been calling okay. to the Jakarta it's mother. Okay, a while. She should respond fairly... Ah, here she comes now. All right. Time to go. Ready. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. If you say so. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> that was quick. The beast is dead. That was insanely we were quick. better together than I would have hoped. Oh yeah. And here is the holocron. Such a mm -hmm. small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. Such I'll just a run along thing. now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution, naturally. Oh? And how can I be sure of that? You're the one that convinced me to go through with this plan. Why wouldn't I see it through? Okay. I want some kind of guarantee. Forget it. There is no guarantee. You helped me, I'll help you. Or don't you trust me? I suppose. Fine. Take it back. Good. You have my appreciation for all your help. Good luck in your efforts. Okay. Fair enough. And that does that. So I guess we go back. Because there's nothing else to do out here. I've done everything else. At least for now. And I wonder if I can talk a little more to Yathura. Maybe after this. Because I need to see where this one ends. I can follow her the entire way back. That is amazing that they put in that level of detail. That she wouldn't just disappear... I mean, they, they've cut corners in other places, so I'm surprised that they left it here. But, hey, as long as it works, in she goes, as do I. The Republic was weak after the Mandalorian Wars and former allies. I didn't read the rest of it because I couldn't read it fast enough. Well, I guess we'll see how this goes. Maybe. Uh, no, this wasn't the right way. It's the other way. Dum, 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 dum. That's what I'd be. Okay. So we go here. Wasn't she sitting right there? Wasn't that where she was at? I could swear that was where she was at. Interesting. Okay. Uh, now we talk to Dustal, I guess. Yeah, there he is, right there. Dustal Onasi. Back already? So tell me, Father, where's this proof you promised? I have a data pad I want you to look at. You knew someone named Celine? Celine? She's the one who convinced me to come to the academy with her. Why? 
Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but he told me he he said that she'd been lost on a mission in a valley. This this says that they mm -hmm. killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I I had no idea. They lied to me. Well, there's uh, of course a sign, remember. Now will you leave here? I no. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. Fair. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information from the inside. Something that might help you. I don't suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're mm -hmm. not going to do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. Hello. Yes, it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over, we can talk. I'm still not sure about us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Well, I'd like that. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. You can find me there. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. Hey! We did it, and I got light side points. Nice. Where am I sitting? Oh, I'm sitting pretty high up there now. Not everyone else is the same, but I'm sitting pretty high up there now. That's good. So... Really, it's just now talking to Yathura, because I can't seem to find Lashau anywhere. I wonder what happened there. Yathura. Greetings, my friend. <laughs> I do rather enjoy saying that. Okay. I didn't think you were that desperate for a friend. But here we are. Oh, I can't talk to her anymore about anything. Well, other than gaining more prestige and the ruins on the surface. How do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds or artifacts you have discovered. The only okay. other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. Mm -hmm. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. Okay. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. Okay. Do you know anything about Darth Revan? Revan? You mean Darth Malak's former master? That's the one. Very little. I never met him personally, though I heard he was a very powerful man. Very charismatic. Mm -hmm. In the end, Revan was outshone by his pupil. Such is the way of the Sith. Why? Is this dead man of importance to you? Ah, so you wouldn't recognize Revan if the two of you met. Okay. Nah, that's all I have to ask. And I think that covers everything. My friend. We get called her friend from here on out. Hey, I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Now let's go talk to Uthar. Uthar. Uthar? I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to pronounce it. Doesn't seem to matter. Uthar win. Greetings, young one. Mm -hmm. I have found you to be most impressive. You are off to an excellent beginning. I appreciate hearing that. So, uh... I found Jorak Ulm, the hermit in the hills. Ah, my old master. Still, unless you bring back something of his, some writings are similar, I am unimpressed. Jorak's fate means nothing to me. Well, I do have his, uh, tablet that he wrote. Oh? Let me see. It appears my old master was busy studying the writings in one of the tombs. How interesting. Mm -hmm. I do hope you had to pry this from his dead fingers. Regardless, you have impressed me with your worthy act. Go now. Thank you. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. Oh? I have matters to attend to. How about... Has Lashau shown you the Jedi holocron? She did. Prestige is not shared, however, if that is what you were wondering. If you aided her, it was to her benefit, and not yours. Mm -hmm. That's fair. So, she got a little prestige, that's fine. How about the uh, rogue droid in the tombs? Yes, so I hear. I've had reports from some students that ventured into the tomb after you left and found the parts. Well yeah. done. Thank I you. I am impressed. You have rid us of a potential nuisance. Go now. Thank you. You have done well. But you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. Oh, that wasn't enough. To to. 
Well, how about the renegade students? Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then. Yeah, it's done. They are gone. Indeed. We checked the caves and found only a couple of bodies. Perhaps the Shirak ate them. Maybe. No, it is just as good, I suppose. The yeah. lesson is learned, I believe. True. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. Oh, not yet. How about the location of the Mandalorian prisoner's weapon cache? You do. That is most interesting. Where might that be? It's hidden within a trap door on his ship. Hmm. How ironic that I recently had his vessel scrapped for parts then. Uh. I had assumed it had been thoroughly scanned. Apparently not. Still, you have done well in bringing me information that others could not unearth on their own. I am impressed. Thank you. You have impressed me enough by my estimation to be hey. simple. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have Yay. but one final test which you must take. And this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasato in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Okay. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Okay. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. I guess I return, will do that. Make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Okay. Go, and may the Force serve you well. Gotcha. <laughs> the pathing path broke so bad. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, well... Karth, what's in your mind? Do you think you'll see Dustal again? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I, I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate. I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for all your help. You're welcome. Yes. What's on your mind? And we need to talk. About me being Darth Revan. If you're ready to talk, then yes. So am I. Okay. And? I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. For my, for my wife. For Telos. For Dustal. But I can't. Why can't you? I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice, and there won't be any turning back. And if I make the wrong choice? Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself. That's all I can ask for. All right. That's fair. It's more than fair. Hey, Ithara. What are you doing here? Go back to Uthar and tell him you are ready to take your final test. Our moment is at hand. Go. Okay. Fair enough. Off to Uthar we go. I ho, I ho. It's off to Uthar we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, Lashao, how are you doing? Beat me. Go on, yeah. gloat. I could care less. I'll succeed next time. If there is a next time. But fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see if Dustal is willing to talk still. I think he's over here, isn't he? No. Where the hell is Dustal? I thought he was over there. Is he the far side over here? No. Where the hell? I don't remember where Dustal is. Am I just losing my mind? It's entirely possible, I guess. It's not like it'd be the first time, nor will it probably be the last. Yeah, no, he's not here either. Okay, he just disappears entirely. That's fine. That's fine by me. Also, I wanted to check real quick. Um, aiding Lashao. You and your rival Lashao have worked together to defeat the Dukata Mother Beast and recover an ancient but corrupt Jedi holocron. Lashao was insistent on returning it to Uthar herself. Somehow you doubt that you and she will be sharing the prestige for the holocron like you planned. That's fine. The double cross. Uthra Ban has chosen you to be part of her plot to overthrow Master Uthar and take over the Academy, and she didn't give you much choice in the matter. Okay. A threat from Jor. Um, did, did I... 
Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Did I actually complete the thing? Even though you had freed the renegade Sith students from the Shyrak Caverns, you were also able to lie, mas lie to Master Uthar and inform him that this problem was taken care of. Technically, it's true. They are gone. Either way, you've earned prestige amongst the Sith for the deed. And the location of the Mandalorian prisoner's weapons cache has been turned over to the Master Uthar. He says that the cache is no longer of particular interest, but it was impressed at the ability to gain the information regardless. The rogue droid, Hermit in the Hills, finding Dustal. Okay. Dustal's eyes have been opened to the true nature of the Sith. He has determined that he will stay on Korriban and try to both save some of his friends as well as unearth some more information. While it's obvious that not everything is patched up between the two of them, they did agree to meet again after events calm and try to make up for some lost time. Cool. So it is completed. Technically. Okay. So there's nothing else I really need to do with Karth. Thank God. Okay. So, um... I guess... Oh, so it isn't automatically triggered. I wonder if I can go back and swap out... Really swap out Karth, because... <laughs> Karth is really the only... No, Karth's son is really the only reason why I brought him out. And since I don't need him for that anymore, I don't necessarily need to keep him in the party. So I'll go back to Dresh Day, get all that taken care of, and then I'll run right back. Works out beautifully for me. Okay, and then I'll just bring on Jahani. Oh, wow. Zalbar has really not been leveled up recently, because he's at level 12. Yeesh. Okay. Alright, I'll fix that in a bit. Time to bring everyone with me. Okay. Time to go back, talk to Uthar, and then do the whole trial that is in front of me at Naga Sadao's tomb. Beautiful. Gotta love that. Last test. So then, Ooh, yeah. I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Naga Sado. Yes. Your final test should not be delayed. Perfect. What is this tomb of Naga Sadao? It is a tomb that belonged to an ancient Sith Lord. The greatest of Korriban Sith Lords, in fact. Oh, really? It is there that your test is performed. Mm. I'm ready to go. Then we go now. All right. The other two stay behind. A day passes in preparation. Uthar then takes you and Yathura to the Sith tomb. Your companions are not permitted to join you. Yeah, makes sense. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. I dislike your tone, you thorough. What are you up to now? I didn't Nothing, detect anything in the tone. I was merely agreeing with you. Yeah, Should we not just get agreeing with test? you. Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. Mm -hmm. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. Mm -hmm. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber gotcha. is for you, your initiation prison. Okay. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Mm -hmm. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? Yeah, I completely understand. Uh, find the star map, return with the lightsaber. Got Good. it. Good. You, Thora, and I will await your return. I hope so. Because there's going to be more where that came from. Okay. And now we get in and... Oh, there's raids. Okay, well, time to get my stuff going. Oh, of course. There had to be a mine. There's always a mine, isn't there? There's that. And then another one of these, I guess. And then... Beat the Hulak Raid. There we go. And we're done. Perfect. And then... 
Oh. A dangerous looking pool of acid has flooded the room. Okay. So, I'm assuming these directions have an idea of where I should be going to get past that. Skeletal remains of a med pack, verpine droid disruptor, and a data pad. Okay. What's a data pad have on it? Master Uthar and Yathura have brought you to the tomb of Naga Sedao, and there is no way out of the tomb until the test is complete. You'll have to find the star map deep within the tomb. When you find it, you will also locate a ceremonial lightsaber. Return with it. Okay. New data pad. It appears to be the journal of a Sith who quite obviously did not make it past the portion of his final test. Most of the journal consists of the Sith's account of gaining enough prestige. Only the final entry appears to concern the test itself. Seems I need to get across the pool of acid in the central chamber if I am to complete my test here, but that is not going to be easy. The runes name one obelisk the Pillar of Fire, while the other is the Pillar of Ice. I can only assume that one of the pillars leads to a way to remove the acid pool, fire or ice. Wouldn't fire create toxic fumes? I'm not sure. Maybe freezing the pool would be safer. Well, I'll worry about that once I bypass the Tarantatic beasts. If I can. I suppose it's now or never. Okay, Tarantotic Beasts. Okay, that's what I have to look forward to. Wait, beasts, as in plural. Well, there's one. Okay. Oh, there's two. There's two of them. Well, here goes nothing. Okay. Oh, they managed to get a hit in. And I'm getting a little damage done. There's that. I should probably do a life support pack on myself while also fighting. Because, boy, will I need it. Alright, that helped. Ow! Ow. That hopefully gives me, yes, another stun. So it's good. And we're ready to go. Okay. As long as I keep stunning him. Ow. Okay. There we go. That did damage. Enough damage to finish it off. Crystal, Solari, and Shayla's journal. Shayla. Wait, that's the other of the trio. Oh, and the Solari crystal. I don't know what that's about. Okay. Oh. Physical damage versus the dark side. Plus an attack, plus three. Can only be used by a light Jedi. Well, luckily I'm one of those. It's good for me. Okay. The data pad is the personal journal of the Jedi Shayla, Shayla Nur. Her last entry is particularly compelling. I have tracked the Tarantatic that ambushed us in the Shirak Caves to this tomb, but even as I stand at the entrance, I know this is wrong. Dark thoughts fill my mind. Hatred and vengeance. I cannot stop myself from blaming Gun Han for Duran's death. If he had not abandoned us, my love would surely have survived the Tarantatic's first attack. But my hatred of Gun Han pales beside my burning desire for revenge. My blood boils to destroy the creature that ended Duran's life, no matter what the cost. I know such thoughts are those of the dark side, but I cannot help them. Even the second set of tracks outside the cave cannot dissuade me from my task. One Tarantatek, two, a thousand, it makes no difference to me now. The only image I see is that of Duran's broken body, and only blood can cleanse it from my mind. I hope my master will forgive me for what I am about to do. Well, from the look of it, doesn't have to, because he didn't survive it. That's bad. Okay, well, we're... Done with the Tarantotics. Oh, there's a lever there. There we go. Does that open it? Aha! Yes, it did. 
Good. Pillar of fire. Gives me a special fire grenade. Pillar of ice. Give me a special cold grenade. Alright. Cool. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do that constantly. I'm just going to use the med packs to top myself off. Because I have way too many of them. Okay, I have no, I have no need for more. Okay. Good for me. Let's get out of here. Now that I can. And I got the grenades. As that body's uh, data pad suggested I should get. Blah, 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 blah. I can talk, really. I can. I'm just bad at it. Okay, so there's this as well. Oh. Okay. There's a puzzle here. Okay, Reggie's probably going to have to fast forward this one. <laughs> Reggie, get ready on that fast forward. Because you're going to need it. Okay, um... Okay, computer terminal. There are three pillars that have electronic readouts showing the energy levels of four systems. The controls show that these systems can be transferred to other pillars. Caution, some of the systems are very delicate and improper transfer of power can cause an electrical overload. Okay, that's a bad thing. In order to unseal the chamber, all of the following four systems must be transferred to the right pillar. So the one next to me, okay. Top system, red, can be transferred to any pillar. Mid-upper causes an overload if transferred to a pillar with an active top system. Okay. So that'd be the green one. Yellow, the mid-lower, is safely transferred to another pillar that either has none or only the base. Okay. And the base system can only be transferred to a blank pillar with no systems or it will cause an overload. Okay. The system may be transferred to another pillar if it is the only active system on that pillar or is the last one listed. Okay. Alrighty. Reggie, here we go. All power has been successfully transferred to the right-hand pillar. The room has been unsealed. Woo! Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I got... Ooh. A next-door crystal cardio package and Zabrak blaster pistol. Cool. All right. And now the door is unsealed, and I can go in here where there's more raids. Okay. 
All right. Oh, of course. There was a mine right in my, my, right in my way, because of course there was. All right, well, that one's dealt with, and then I can kill the Black Raid. Perfect. And the monument to Naga Sadao. Oh, I can get his poison blade now, too. And whatever these remains are. Sinagar and Carbine, Sith Assault Gun, and Area Dew Strength Amplifier. Okay, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. And that finishes this side. Okay. Everything is done in this tomb that can be done. Okay. So now we do the acid pool. The hell was that? Oh, something fell because I was going the wrong way, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. Okay, acid pool. Dangerous looking pool of acid. Launch the cold grenade. Freezes over. It is now walkable. Perfect. All right. And the tomb door. Okay. And there is the star map. Okay. Well, that ends this episode. And it couldn't be a moment too soon because I need to get this edited as quickly as possible. So, I need to get into it. And, well, I'll have Edgy edit it. it this is not the point. I'm going to get it done. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and trying my damnedest to get through this as quickly as possible and show y'all everything that can be done. Especially since we're now Euthoraban's friend. We have beaten Lashau. Uh... Melek? Melek was turned away from the dark side. Dustral's been turned away from the dark side. And Shudran is a dead, by no fault of my own, technically. Because I didn't do the bad thing with him. Well, I mean, he was doing the bad thing to me. I gave him the wrong one. He wouldn't have known any different. So, it's not my fault. But we will get finished with this next episode for you.